Well, I'll tell you this. After 45 years of teaching, <clears throat> I've never had a kid who performed nearly 20 pieces from memory as well as he can. And even though we can always practice more, he still does remarkably well <laughs> with the time he puts in on it. So I'm very pleased to present him on uh, uh, December 14th at my house. If anyone wants to come, you're welcome. I have a potluck and I have students from China, Korea, India, Russia, and they all bring ethnic food. So oh. it's a real potpourri and it's very nice. So that's December 14th, 14th Saturday at 6, if anyone wants to come. And I, I usually have a recital for my students in general, but not one kid, but I thought, I need to showcase this boy because he's extraordinary. And he has no stage fright. And he plays like, whoa! I had a, uh, two little girls, Dr. Glenberg's daughters, were coming in for the lesson. The Lucy was there. And I'll never forget her jaw dropping right to the floor when he played. I thought, well, that's a good sales pitch, Lucy. And go. <laughs> <laughs> Sell yourself to my students. So anyway. Well, we're going to start with what now today? seeing God. They just go nuts when they hear it. Now this is a simplified version but it's very satisfying because it retains the delicious theme that he wrote. Delicious? Delicious. delicious. Very appealing. <laughs>
high school did you go to? West. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. As recently as 1967. <laughs> and according to my students that are printed. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Both myself. Okay, can That's you tell good. a little bit today about Lucien, oh, okay. how she's doing? He's doing what's going on in school. Well, today Lucien played better than any, any lesson I've ever seen him do. He gave expression. There are spots that have to be cleaned up naturally. Okay. We all think about okay. that. I'll show you me. But, like I said, there are people at the university who play all the correct notes, but they're dull. I, I was putting up piano lesson signs one day at the Humanities Building, and there was a doctoral student. And I thought, oh, shoot, I'm going to go to that. So I sat in the front row, and she got all upset. She wanted no one in the set row. I had to sit six rows back. And she came out, and, well, she made a lot of mistakes, which wasn't a big deal, because even the Horowitz in Moscow, the Horowitz in Moscow video, he makes a few mistakes. Mm -hmm. But my God, he plays beautifully. Mm -hmm. And But everything she, she did was dull, painfully dull. I thought to myself, this woman should be denying insurance claims all day, you know, <laughs> rather, than, rather, than, rather than playing the piano. And this was her doctoral recital, mind you. I mentioned that to one of the faculty members once, Carol Chilton, who's now retired. He said, who was it? Well, I couldn't remember. It could have been one of his students, which means nothing, of course. You know, it's no reflection on him, right? And it could have been one of her bad days. We all have bad days, you know. But the point is, she didn't make any music, as far as I was concerned. And Lucian has this way of just sculpting these lines. Don't you think? Don't you think he gives expression? Yeah, Especially for a little kid yeah. who's on the computer all the time? <laughs> I mean, really, for him to give that, don't you think that, that there was... I think so, and that's terribly impressive, and that's why I want to show him off. Out of the 45 years I've taught, I've had over 1,200 students, ages 4 to 89, from all over the world, and I've had many talented students. One boy has recently played with the Madison Symphony twice, and he started when he was nine, not four, nine, but he's homeschooled, and it's five hours a day. <laughs> you see, that had a lot yeah. to do with it. But he's really good. So I thought to myself, to have somebody like Lucian, you have to have him play a whole solo recital. So that's what I want to do for him, is show him off. And uh, we'll do that on the 14th. Okay. Bravo. But I want a suit and tie. Clip on tie. You get a little clip on tie, buddy. <laughs> I saw he looks you. Excited. I saw yeah, you in the clip-on tie when you were in Indiana. He, he's googling down on the internet right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah clip-on tie. But you wore it, Lucien. You had it on when you played at Goshen, was it? Yeah. Yeah, you looked real handsome then. Goshen. Nowadays, you know, at the Carnegie Hall, they go on with their turtlenecks and they don't always dress up. But I think you should dress up. I don't know. I think you should. I yep. think you should dress yeah. up. So, I agree. Okay. This is a homey feeling, so it doesn't feel yeah. that's right. that's right. yeah. to, yeah. That's right. That's he right. said he it was a show semi dressed person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to run. I gotta run. Yeah, that's okay. I'll 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 I'll